Hey, Toby Barnett with the Barnett Associates team and KW North Sound. Hey, just wanted to say, you know, I've been listening and uh, reading your uh, comments on the previous Moskill video about how to apply the, the Moskill to the roof when I, uh, when I do it in the spring and fall. And so here's the follow up. So, so thanks for the feedback and I, we did listen. And so here, you know, today we'll, I'll be just applying the, the Moss, Moss Beware and I'm gonna use two cans today just to get a, as much coverage as I can for this one. And uh, the, the weather's holding out. We have rain coming in this uh, tonight and tomorrow, so it should rinse down real nice. And so uh, thanks for tuning in and, and here, here we go and see how I apply it and how little time it takes. So thanks again for tuning in and talk to you soon. As you can see, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, and I'm keeping the can low to the ground because if you get too far away and you get a little bit of wind up here on top of your roof, it just blows all over, it gets in your face and you breathe it, and it's pretty nasty stuff. So to put your can low to the roof and just shake it back and forth and get a nice even layer down your peaks and eaves. And then when the next rain comes, it'll all wash down, it'll kill any moss on there, and you'll eventually all turn black and kind of blow off with the wind. As you can also see, my roof is actually in really good shape with no moss being on it. And I attribute that to the fall and spring applications I do. Um, so pro I probably won't do another application now till next spring. Uh, my roof is in such good shape right now that this application should carry me through the winter months, no problem.
So plan accordingly. As you can see, two cans didn't quite uh, finish my entire roof. Uh, I put it on a little heavy on the main peak and I, and I wasn't really too worried about it just because my roof's in good shape. This is like the fifth year that we've lived here and I've, this is will be the first year I will go to uh, once a year applications. My roof's in great shape. I don't really wanna overdo it and there's no need to. Uh, in a calendar year in Washington, your moss isn't gonna come back once you got it nice and established on a, um, pre-existing roof and if you're a new roof you don't have to do this all the time so uh, or not for the first few years of ownership because it has some natural stuff built in uh, but take some time plan accordingly uh, i recommend always getting at least two cans that way you could you don't want to have to come back up and go or go up come back down go back up and, and grab another can so just you know grab two cans and if you uh, go up there take care of it and uh, protect that roof and protect that investment so thanks again for the feedback on the other youtube video and i'm, I'm hoping you enjoy and actually can get some use out of this follow-up video on the application of moss viewer so anyways thanks students <laughs> thanks again and tune in again for another home maintenance minute with toby and uh, we'll pick something else and uh, go from there but anyways take care of that investment